All right, you guys, I want to review a game that I was playing last night. Many of you joined me on the stream. Thank you for coming through. Uh, it's a VR game I played on the PlayStation VR. It's called Astro Bot Rescue Mission, and it stars Sony's little lovable VR mascots. They're the playroom mascots, the robots. You play a little Astrobot who has to go on this mission to rescue uh, a bunch of his comrades who have been, um, you know, scattered across the galaxy, and you go from a world to a world and level to level. It's a platforming action adventure game. We've played a million of these, uh, you know, in 2D and in 3D, and it, and it borrows mechanics that we're very, very comfortable with and very familiar with, but the change here is that you are the camera and you are a physical object in the game space. You actually have to bash your head onto objects in order to break down walls and, and have your little astrobat, uh, astrobot still be in focus for you. You can breathe, uh, blow onto dandelion uh, stems and watch all of their little uh, the little fluffy things go flying all over the place. Uh, you know, it's it's a little kitschy, and, it, and it's sort of playing with sort of uh, little gimmicky kind of mechanics in there. Uh, but the core fundamental gameplay is so unbelievably fun. I. You can hear it in my voice in my stream. I streamed it for two and a half hours yesterday. I did not want to stop, but I felt like I was getting into some pretty severe spoiler territory. And I absolutely think that this is one of those games that if you've got a PlayStation VR, this is a must buy for the system. Uh, the game controls were so tight. Maneuvering Astrobot around just felt really fluid and comfortable. You're just hammering on the uh, square button to uh, you know, kick your buddies in the butt so that they come and they fly right into your controller, which is great. You actually have a, a virtual physicalized version of your controller. You, you, you feel it in your hand and you can hold it up in front of your face and it's rendered for you within the game and it's just so slick, all of that stuff. And you use the controller as a bit of a key in some of the doors as well. So you pop it into stuff and then you can unlock uh, you know, new uh, abilities like being able to shoot a little grappling line and then uh, the Astrobot will walk on it uh, effortlessly. It's very you know, Mario-esque, you know, very much analog controls, so spinning and turning and stuff like that. There's a, uh, a beautiful sort of uh, organic, natural feel to the to the running gait of the character and the jumping and the, and the um, you know, the double jumping and he shoots lasers out of his feet that can actually destroy stuff underneath him. And the idea of uh, height is so e effectively represented in here because you're in the world. So you'll watch the the character leap off of edges and you'll be like, oh my God, oh my God. And then it'll bounce on trampolines and go super high into the air or, uh, you know, bust behind uh, uh, crevices and stuff like that. And you actually have to turn your head and look around uh, and peek around corners and stuff. And like I say, you actually will bash uh, with your head through different um, obstructions, which is really cool. They use the touchpad quite a bit in this game. And I know that that's one of the things that a lot of people like Blake say, what, what the hell, we never need the, these stupid touchpads ever. But they actually use them uh, um, to shoot uh, um, shurikens, as uh, that's one of the abilities that you'll pick up, so you can use it to shoot at different targets on the uh, on the wall. And you, the one thing you have to remember when you're playing the game is that the, because the controller is in the space and you are in the space, where you're pointing the controller is also part of the game design, which is you know takes a bit to kind of understand and sort of grapple with because the tech, te uh, the mechanics in the game are so well honed and we've played so many games like this, but the introduction of you being in the world is a revelation. It's just so much fun. So you've got nunchucks and you've got, uh, or uh, shurikens, and you've got uh, grappling lines that they can, uh, the Astrobot can walk on and also uh, uh, jump up on. And you can also uh, shoot out some uh, uh, water streams as well. So you'll help plants grow. And you know, we've seen that kind of thing before, a little Super Mario Sunshine kind of thing or a Splatoon type thing. Uh, listen, this game is an absolute joy. The music is great. The visuals are awesome. Um, it's filled with charm and an accessibility. And it, it, it's kind of like Lucky's Tale, which was a, an Oculus Rift launch title and uh, an exclusive to that machine. Um, and it's a little bit like... Um, uh, Moss as well, where you've got this third person creation that you are sort of in control of, but you're also in the world. It, but I think this might be the best iteration on that kind of concept. This was just incredible. And the uh, 
the variety of the the environmental challenges and stuff as well. You get onto these magic carpet-like devices, and you, you'll go underwater, and you just watch the water just rise above you, and you're bubbling underneath the water. It's just amazing. Um, and there's like a lot of flying elements in this thing as well. And then there's challenge arenas that you can kind of unlock by finding this hidden chameleon. All you got to do to find the chameleon is just stare at it and again putting you inside the game world so you're looking all over the place and I was literally turning right around in my chair to kind of deal with stuff that was behind me a lot of new thinking I knocked over my whole Lego Dimensions display playing this game <laughs> but I didn't care because I was having so much fun that's how good the game is I think uh, Astrobot Rescue Mission is a must buy if you are into VR at all. This almost is a system seller. It's definitely one of the best VR experiences I've had so far. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10.